there. Welcome to Christ for Life. So glad that you joined us today. The title of the message is That Way. And we're going to be in Luke 19, verses 1 through 10. Let's open up by reading that. He entered Jericho and was passing through. There was a man named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector, and he was rich. He was trying to see who Jesus was, but he was not able because of the crowd, since he was a short man. This is verse 4 now of the 19th chapter of Luke. So running ahead, he climbed up a sycamore tree to see Jesus, since he was about to pass that way. When Jesus came to the place, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, because today it is necessary for me to stay at your house. So he quickly came down and welcomed him joyfully. All who saw it began to complain, he's gone to stay with a sinful man. Verse 8, but Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Lord, look, I'll give half of my possessions to the poor, Lord. And if I have extorted anything from anyone, I'll pay back four times as much. Today salvation has come to this house, Jesus told him, because he too is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save the lost. A great word from the Word of God. And we can draw seven uh, lessons from these ten verses. And I want to just break that down for you right now, unpack it a little bit. So let's open up with the, the first lesson, number one. Would you go out of your way to see Jesus if he passed that way? If he passed your way? Would you go out of your way to see Jesus if he was passing by? Second lesson or question is this. Would Jesus want to stay at your house? He told Zacchaeus, I'm staying at your house. Would Jesus want to stay at your house? Number three. Third question is this. Would you want Jesus to stay at your house? Would you want him to stay there? Question number four. Would you welcome Jesus fully if he were to say, I'm staying at your house? Question number five is this. Would you repent of your sins just as Zacchaeus repented of his sins and sought to make amends? How about verse or question number six? Would Jesus proclaim salvation over your house? He proclaimed salvation over Zacchaeus' house, but would he proclaim salvation over your house? And question number seven, if you answered yes to all six of the preceding questions, it is incumbent upon you then to go and be a Zacchaeus in our day. So go on, be a Zacchaeus, seek out the Lord. Allow him to stay at your place. Welcome him. Repent. And we'll see Jesus rejoice over your household. God bless y'all. We'll see you soon.